previously on a vacation. We're gonna go to the spot, this uh, road gap. Still is getting a little nervous now, it's getting a little closer to game time. Woo! They come up with the sketchiest ideas and they go, yeah, still hit that. <sighs> Our days here at Nitro City are coming to a close and we are about to head over to Portobello for part two of the trip. We got a little spot in Lake Madden halfway between here and Portobello. We're gonna stop, do a little boat shredding. It's kind of our only time to do a real good boat set. Unfortunately, Steel will be sitting out for the day due to sore body parts. We uh, sacrificed him to the road gap yesterday. Understandable if he can't make it today. But we're gonna go have fun. Me, Parks, and Grub are gonna shred a boat and uh, head over to Portobello. It's pretty crazy, man. This little town's road just comes straight down and ends in, right into the water. Happens to be the boat launch. This lake is huge, like massive. I just thought to myself, there's no way, like there's so much wind and there's no way we're gonna find anything good to ride on and I wasn't even gonna ride. Even though boat's my thing, I, I gotta take a break. And you turn the corner, boom, pure glass in a floating tiki hut. <laughs> it's right there. They pull up to this tiki hut, we unload all of our stuff. I've never seen anything like this. This is crazy. It was probably 15 to 20 mile an hour winds, but the vegetation and the landscape around that lake had some pretty high kind of walls coming up out of it. So if we could get on the leeward side of, of where the wind was blowing from, there were some spots with some long straightaways that were pretty calm, you know? So we had some of the most epic, pristine, fresh water riding in Panama, which never happens. And I've been here multiple times and I never even knew this lake existed. Parks has that timeless style and he's just so smooth on a wakeboard, you know? So. Anytime you can see him, um, you know, riding behind the boat, especially these days, is, is kind of a real treat. We ended up getting to this dam that pretty much created the whole lake. There's these huge orange balls, uh, like concrete balls that were uh, jibbable, but by the time I got there, I was pretty tired. Colin took over, which is something I typically don't get to see. Colin's like a renaissance man of wakeboarding. He's a sick photographer, wake skates insanely well, surfs probably even better, and to see him get out there behind a wakeboard and, and do you know legit grab backside fives, uh, real refreshing to see. That Colin still got it. Jack of all trades, that Colin.
I kind of had the benefit of going last, so we kind of figured out the best line to run by the time it was my turn to go. And I just kind of wanted to take advantage of it. I mean, the wake was pretty good, and you know, I just wanted to try to get you know as many clips as I could. And I had a great time riding out there, and it was really fun. I mean, Grub does what Grub does, man. He kills it in all situations, and Grub's one of the best boat wake skaters in the world and pretty much pioneered a lot of the tricks done behind a boat. So to see him get out there in perfect conditions, yeah, he just killed it, man. TV and we grew up, had this idea of doing this massive spray in front of the dock. Um, Parks grew up actually doing showman skiing, so uh, I don't know. He's got some old man strength. Let's see if he can hold on to the rope. Time you can get a one foot going, some remote areas. I'm game. We just got done doing some riding. We had killer, killer weather and found some good water, so we had a good time. And we're gonna take off from here and keep heading north and get to the Caribbean up in Portobello uh, this evening. So that's where we're going. found a really cool hotel to stay at and yeah it was a perfect setup but we could hear the ocean you know breaking that night and stuff but couldn't really see much and it was really cool to wake up the next morning and kind of see where we ended up. Next time on Waycation. This whole area is really rich in history and it's cool just to come in and you know try to make a little bit of our own. The main reason why we came to the Caribbean side is to do some toe-in surfing. That was so totally wicked!